drum, drum, drum. And it uh, comes with a CD as well for 25 bucks. What a deal. It comes with a complimentary bottle of schnapps. <laughs> not quite, huh, Stan? You're not that generous today. I, uh, Wait till we get mid-season. I want to thank you for that. Though. That's a nice uh, announcement about us. And we got CDs for sale, jokes. Songs we made up, drunk as a coot, just made them up. You know, and they're not bad, really. We've got a lot of kids here now, so I gotta watch what I'm thinking. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy, I tell you. I see what you're saying. You hear what the woman said about her husband after he was died? She said, still fit last. Like the guy went into the, the Walgreens and said he wanted to dump a dose of Viagra pills, see? Said he had twin ladies coming to his house that night. Next morning, he went into the Walgreens, looked kind of beat up. He said, uh, to the drugs, I gotta have some Ben Gay. He said, Ben Gay? What's that for? He said, it's for arm and shoulders. Them gals never showed up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we... <clears throat> Uh, a good friend of mine told me this joke. The favorite uncle moved to South America and he thought it was around Christmas time and he thought he'd do something for them. He sent them back this little exotic parrot. He was beautiful too. After Christmas he called them and said, How'd you like that bird? That's oh God, he was great. We ate him Christmas Day. <laughs> Did you mean you ate that little exotic parrot? He could speak two languages? They said, Well he never said nothing to us. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh, well, I tell you what. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to tell this one kind of fast so these kids can't listen that quick, okay? There's a guy here named Lou who owns a, uh, several tattoo shops, New York, and I think, I don't know if it's in Naples or not, but around here somewhere. And I told him I'd dedicate this joke to him where the lady went to uh, the tattoo shop, Lou's shop. She wanted a... Uh, turkey on this inner thigh and a Christmas tree over here. And Lou looked at her and said, well, you know, lady, I can do that, but uh, why would why would you want such stuff as that tattoo on your inner thigh like that? She said, well, I'll tell you, Lou, I'm just sick of my husband bitching all the time about the ain't nothing good to eat between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Maybe I just kind of laid that one in there, Lou. I don't know. <laughs> Work a lot. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to move right along here. I, uh, there's a guy from Canada here, and I heard this joke several years ago, but he reminded me of it, where the uh, gal goes in the bar. You know, we talk. We got to qualify the joke. You know, there's beautiful blonde women in this world, especially in America, I guess. I don't know about the rest, but anyway. Everybody's always talking about, oh, God, you see that blonde? Look at that blonde. Look at that blonde. Well, you know what? There's some beautiful, dark-headed women in this world, too. Brunettes, they call them. And I was married to one of them cats, and they were all right, see? So this beautiful brunette came in our bar one evening, stopped at the end of the bar. The bartender not paying any attention to her, and but all the guys are because she got them big, beautiful eyes. Uh -huh. And they're all looking at her and everything, and ooh and ah, I know her. Bartender's in the end of the bar not paying any attention. Finally, she gets tired of waiting. She, oh, I got it. mixed it up here. She got on a, a sleeveless uh, blouse, a low neck. So you get the idea, it looks like the Grand Canyon or somewhat. Well, Holland Tunnel, maybe, or something. And uh, so they're all oohing and on over her. And finally, she got tired of waiting. She threw up her arm. Hey, bartender. Got a glob of black hair under her arm. Oh. 
they turned off all of them fellers, except one old drunk at the end of the bar. He looked over and he said, bartender, he said, I'll buy that ballerina a drink. And the bartender said, you know that woman? He said, no, I've never seen her before. He said, well, you called her a ballerina? He said, well, hey, old feller. Anybody that lift her leg that high is bound to be a ballerina, ain't it? It's a... That's from Canada. <laughs> Did you understand the joke? Well, you can stay. Chris, I don't know who let these kids out. We had them tied out behind the boutique earlier, so somehow they got loose, you know. Just kidding. You're pretty cheap. Just, you know, don't hurry up to grow up, but when you grow up, you, you know, you understand the joke, see? <laughs> it's time for everything, right? New time. But you hear about them two old maids that got on a drunk? They damn near killed him. <laughs> Any blondes here? I was gonna tell that blonde joke, damn I forgot it myself. But anyway, we're gonna move right along here and uh, Queen Mary's not here, but Michelle has agreed to take her place right over there. And it's another gal named Joanne that's going to uh, t help take her place. Not yet, Michelle. We, uh, not yet. I'll call you, though, okay, huh? Thank you. Thank you. I'll call you. She got on the lovely hat. Which Melissa? The, Melissa, yeah. I'm sorry, Melissa. She got on the lovely hat, doesn't she? Bump that right here in the Island Woman Shop. Yeah. This sometimes, you know, we... Well, I don't... I can't tell that joke, no one. Uh... You know what I mean? It's just too many looks. I can't get, I can't hide it enough. I think. Uh, Norm's got a song about a joke that we tell. I'll get him to play it a little bit later. And you heard the Gucci shoe joke? Well, he's got one of the same thing called uh, Tony Lima boots. In other words, they're so slick and you know shiny that you can look down there and see something if you're dancing with a gal with a skirt on. What I'm trying to say. And uh, I'm gonna get me a pair of them bears. <laughs> but anyway, this the guy goes to the counselor with his wife, see, and he's having a damn fit. And he said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with just my wife. And the counselor said, Settle down, man. What's wrong with your wife? He said, She goes to this place called Stands over there in Goodland, and she goes two or three nights a week and picks up men and takes them out of there. He said, and we've been married 16 years. She's beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to lose that yet. He's crying off. And the counselor said, listen, fella, you settle down here now. Now you take a deep breath and you tell me exactly how to get to stands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, well. Don't think like that, Sam. <laughs> That's like if guy was... Uh, Oh yeah, the guy was on his deathbed. I'm trying to be selective here. My mind is getting so weak. I can't. There goes one now. <laughs> and uh, he says, "Y'all settle down. You're making me nervous. Hell, I ain't that old." So the gal, uh, the, the, lady, the guy's on his deathbed. See, and he says to his wife, "Will you please give me one last request, honey? One?" She said, "Yes, darling. Anything, anything." He said, "Well, will you marry Bob when I'm gone?" He said, "Bob." I thought you hated Bob. He says, I do. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one. I got to tell you one for the women, though. You know, the guy said, the guy said to his wife, he said, you know, your vocabulary, you use twice the amount of words that I do. Why is that? She said, because you, you men make us repeat everything. And he says, what? <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. You kids go play in the traffic a little while. Okay? <laughs> I'm trying to turn the road somewhere. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to tell you one where the guy's got a bad headache. I can have a drink here and get my dry throat. Let's have a little drink here. It's not to drive on, no. Don't drive here drunk, y'all. Get sick. Anyway, the guy's talking to a fellow about having a bad headache. And the guy said, well, I'll tell you what, fella, when I get a bad headache like that, I just go home, lay my head between my wife's breasts, and it soothes my headache. 
Maybe you ought to try that. He said, I don't know. Saw the guy about a week later, said, how's your headache, fella? He said, it's gone. He said, you do what I suggested? He said, yeah, man, you got a nice house, too. <laughs> Did you understand that joke? You sit right there. You did stay here. That's right. Woman said to another woman, I think my husband's dead. She said, What? Said, well, sex is the same, but I've got the remote. <laughs> and then the guy said, I think my wife's dead. He said, Why? Well, he said the sex is the same, but the dishes are piling up. <laughs> well, that's bad, man. <laughs> you know what Willie Nelson said? If you're having a trouble there and you want to you wanna have sex with an animal, do it with a horse. He said, because if that don't work out, at least you got to ride home. <laughs> I can't tell that other Willie Nelson joke right now, brother. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, what do you mean? Mm. Well, I'll tell these kids a little joke, okay? Now, you listen up, kids. Well, they ain't listening anyway. Now, they may not even be old enough to get this joke. You know why the spider... Kids, quit fighting, quit fighting. You learn when you get my age, you don't fight, you make love, see? <laughs> Think about that. Start early if you can, because you don't listen to me. Anyway, uh, we got the kids said, uh, uh, you know why the spider crawled into the computer? Hmm? He want to check on his website. Did you get that? <laughs> you stay here. He's cute, isn't he? Yeah, I love blonde, don't think. <laughs> okay, I got the usual way. Okay, what, what's that? Redneck oh, rednecks. Okay. Uh, you know, okay, you remind me one. I told this last uh, couple weeks ago, and the lady could come back. Oh, I think it was Saturday or something. No one was playing. She said, That redneck joke you told about the. the you know why? I'll tell you the joke first. You know why the. Uh, what it means when a little redneck baby slobbers out of both sides its mouth? Well, that means the trailer's level. <laughs> and she come up here and she said, you know, Stan, we got a damn trailer up there on the lake and it ain't never level. <laughs> I try to bake a cake that goes to one side, see? <laughs> it's perfect for an upside down cake, all right? But uh, the redneck goes to his buddy redneck. He said, look, if, if I make love to your wife, and, and, and she has a baby, does that make us relatives? He said, no, but it'll make us even. <laughs> mm. It's like, you know how you tell when you're at Redneck Motel, it's when you call down to the desk, and the gal answered, and you say, I got a leak in my sink. She said, well, go ahead. But I think one of my favorite redneck jokes, is not a real dirty joke, nothing like that, is when the two rednecks are riding down the road in a pickup truck drinking bottled Budweiser. One of them says, oh my God, the cops are right behind us, what are we going to do? The other one said, take the labels off the bottles of Budweiser and stick them on your head and throw the bottles on the seat quick. And they do that, the cop pulls them over and says, you guys been drinking? Oh, said, no sir, see, we're on the patch. <laughs> That's like President Clinton walking around before he got out of office with a pair of underpants on his arm. One of them Bible Belt Centers from North Carolina seen him said, Oh my God, Mr. President, what are you doing with those underpants on your arm? He said, Oh man, that's a patch I'm trying to quit. <laughs> Y'all yeah, settle down a minute, okay? Yeah, go swimming. Got a nice pool in the back. <laughs> Full of sharks on it. <laughs> Your parents are going to kill me, and I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we had a redneck coming here the other day, an old fella, the old redneck. He drove in here, and the cops followed him right in here on Sunday. We watched him, the cop went over there to him, and the old redneck said, what I do, officer, do something wrong? He said, no, you didn't do anything wrong, but I just want to tell you that your wife fell out of the car over that Marco. He said, oh, thank God, I thought I went deaf. We better get out of here while we're alive, man. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to move along here. Don't forget to raffle at 4 o'clock and give it the rest of the money away or whatever. Uh, and don't forget now, I didn't mention it before. We got a book here. Uh, it's a bunch of lies about me. And uh, it was just finished this last year. We got them on sale over there. And it has a CD in here of some of the jokes and songs that we made up. And uh, also we got CDs over there, and Norm and Deb have a nice CD out, maybe two now. I think we have two, you're right, yeah, Stan, yeah. thank you. And they're for sale, and you, you want to get these, you got some memory of things around here, but you know what I mean, we, a lot of our people come back here, we like that, and they tell new people about it, and that's how we uh, end up, uh, you know, being Jewish a little bit, because we don't spend no money advertising. But I will pass on one Jewish joke. I know they get keyed off at me, but it's a true story and I can't help it. Uh, you know, them Jewish guys are different from me and Norm and others like us. They sure are. And the reason we know that is because they watch them porno movies backwards. Can you imagine that? They do that so they can see the prostitute giving the money back. <laughs> And boy, tell that to them once you get mad. <laughs> they do. It ain't no reason to get mad. It's like we don't use the N-word here because, uh, you know, them black folks don't like to throw off on them. We don't mean it that way. They tell jokes on us. Well, so I, when I know one, I tell them all kinds of good jokes. But the way we get around it here with a mixed audience is like this. A country guy from Missouri is up on the stand getting a divorce, see? And the judge asked him, said, you got the grounds? He said, hell yeah, I got 40 acres in the woods. Oh, no, that ain't what I mean. Did your wife cheat on you? Yep. Every time we play cards, she cheats. Oh, that's not what I mean, sir. Let me ask you now, listen up here. Is your wife a nagger? nagger? To know she's a little white woman about that high. <laughs> hey, buddy. I, I don't know. I kind of like that joke too. I like it too, man. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, we got to have a nice day. There goes another one. Headache coming up, Norm. Look at that. Watch oh, out. Bang, bang, Watch bang. out. Oh, what a headache coming up here. Oh, is that the one of the prettiest girls you ever seen in your life? Are you married, honey? Oh, yeah, I guess you are. Oh, maybe we can get rid of him. What's he look like? Oh, good God, he's over there. Water. <laughs> Screw that up. Nice try, Stan. I go with another headache. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, that's another story. I, I'll, I'll guess we, we'll pass that one on to you right quick. To, this this uh, that, up here in Alabama, you know, the rednecks everywhere, and they got a redneck bar called a, a, a redneck haven. And them rednecks watch strangers when they come in. They just like them New Yorkers. When you go to New York, you know they watch you. Oh, no, look at him. What you gonna say? He speaks. Don't let him speak to you, kid. So anyway, <laughs> this guy comes in, and they looking at him. He goes up to the bar, and the bar says, "What do you want, fella?" He said, "A glass of wine." He said, "Wine? Wait a minute." He goes over at them rednecks. They said, what's he want, man? He says he wants a glass of wine. They said, man, is he one of them faggots? <laughs> Martin said, I don't know. So we'll go over there and find out something about him. See, and he goes over and he said, hey, man, where are you from? He said, Iowa. He said, what do you do for a living? He said, I'm a taxidermist. He said, oh, yeah, what's that? He said, well, I mount animals. He said, okay, boys, he's one of us. <laughs> Oh man, Yeah. 
Amen. We're going to sing the first song on our CD. It was written by a guy from Illinois about 36 years ago. My God, how old can we be? And it's called the Marco Island Song. And uh, I just want to pass it on to you. It's, it's, it's a good song. It's not like the rest of mine. I wrote the rest of them, but this is a good song, see? And, uh, and also, uh, and we're going to do the, the Yankee Dollar and the Buzzard Dance here in just a little bit. Now, if anybody's seen Queen Mayor, tell her we're through. Just tell her we're through. I ain't sleeping with her no more and have nothing to do with her. She gets up and leaves before I wake up and through. I'm through with her. Anyway, she rolls over on me, it hurts. If you've seen Queen Mary, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, come on, let's see if we can do it. <laughs> Love your blouse, Swishy Girl. Yeah. gave it up 60 years ago. I ain't taken none in a long time now. How long? About four months. Four months? I ain't been late either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Don't do nothing right now, uh, Norm, anyway. Just keep just taking a leak on the shoes, you know. <laughs> and you look good at the beach. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know about that, you know. I'm like the Pollock guy says, what do you do, man? He said, I stick a potato down in my bathing suit. Pollock guy said, I'm going to try that. He come back and said, man, they're all making fun of me and everything like that. He said, well, I don't know. what Did you put it in your bathing suit? He said, yeah. He said, where'd you put it? He said, I put it in the back. Oh, I said, no wonder. 
That doesn't work. It doesn't. No, no, no. Well, listen. Hey, hey, how you doing, guys? Hello. Uh, she come in town next week, right, Debbie? She said she was. I talked to her last week. Well, she told me she's coming down to visit y'all. Okay. Stan, you heard of that Viagra light? Viagra light? Have you heard about it? No, I don't think so. Well, we're in trouble because I don't know what you got. <laughs> <laughs> I know I heard the one if you're in trouble with sex life, they say, see Alice. We can't find Alice. We kept singing that song, Where in the Hell's Alice? So, I don't know, right? Something's wrong here. Uh, we're going to do the Yankee Dollar song. If you don't mind pitching in here today, we're going to take care of these, try to help get the toys for the kids that the Pointers Club is doing to benefit here today. And if you don't mind, we'll go that way. And, uh, and, 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 and come up here and help us. What do you have? We got a lot of money here. Do you mind? Yeah. No, you got to take your drink. You're going to get thirsty. It's a long song. Yeah, that's all right. We. We drink around here, you know what I mean? I, we're like them Catholics. We believe in having a little drink, see? They drink wine, don't they? Yeah, you love wine. What you love, honey? Oh, you love that too? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your name now? Sean? Sean. 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 How named that for a woman, Sean? Pretty good name, I guess, on Sean. Sean. Most guys named Shane. You're Sean, right? This is Sean, ladies and gentlemen. She's from Miami, she's gonna help us with the money when y'all bring it up, fellas. So be generous. Lean way over when it come up, sweetheart. Take your hat in your hand. You don't mind, do you? Take your hat in your hand. Yep, you have your hand, I can't see. Okay. And you have to take your hat off. So you got pretty hair anyway. We want to fill this hat up with money. Okay? Okay, guys, let's, go. let's give a cheer because the Yankees are here. Manchester, England, have 
Good about it. Now, let's sit down a minute. <laughs> Taking in all that money, wear it down. Drink that dirty water, <laughs> No, let's see that. That's good, folks. Look at that. Now, when we, right after the hurricane, it was pretty muddy. But we've been taking the Yankee dollars in, and we've got a, 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 a filter on a good little water system. It's getting better, ain't it? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Still got a little ways to go, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a few little bugs in there. Oh, uh, well, hurt you. And get us meat, meat here for telephone. <laughs> what was her name again? Michelle. I'm Michelle. Melissa. Melissa. Yeah. Okay, Melissa. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I can't remember nothing, baby, but I want to remember you, though. <laughs> you gonna do the buzzer with us? Huh? Mother dance. We'll show you. Yeah, put your purse down. He counts the money. Here comes Michelle. How about a ham shake, Queen Mary? Melissa, Melissa taking Mary's place. Melissa, Melissa, what's her name? Melissa. I get over one headache and get another. It's pitiful, I tell you. It's pitiful. You're some kind of sport, honey. Where are you from? Chicago part of the time and Marco Alabama. You work both places? Yeah. Chicago and Marco. Works them both. Ain't that good? <laughs> Hard working guy. Yeah. Listen, come on up here and dance with us. We don't need just one. We gotta have more than that. How you doing, Bob? Come on, baby. Come on up here, girls. We got, we got, it's just gonna take about 12 women to take Mary's place. <laughs> Here comes one now, got on a nice full skirt, I love that, yep. Come on up on the stage. Up on the stage, that's where it's at. Come on the stage. You ain't gonna find it out there. We need some buzzer dance. Can I borrow your wife, baby? She's so pretty. Come up here, sweetheart. We're gonna sing a song for you in a minute. Hey, good looking. Hey. <laughs> We're gonna sing one to you, too. Later. 
<laughs> Later this evening, sweetheart, I, I'm going to show you a private butter dance. <laughs> she says she can't wait. I don't think I've got enough strength to get there. <laughs> Come on up here, Mary. These gals are going to... Uh, I think Mary's going to get in the buzzard contest uh, in January. It's a big uh, mullet festival. That's when we get a new queen, ladies and gentlemen. The third weekend of January. Okay? And I want to tell you right quick, knowing what I got a minute. What happens here, we're closed on Monday. And then uh, we take a break on Tuesday for, as far as entertainment. But, but we got uh, entertainment Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm gonna tell you, we got a lobster special that'll knock you. <laughs> that almost messed up. <laughs> that'll knock you. Uh, that's good for you. Twenty-four ninety-five for lobster and steak. You can't beat that with a damn uh, shrimp boat. A lobster boat. You can't get it that cheap. And then that's uh, that's every night during the week with some other specials. If you don't think we got good fresh food here, just come try us. We don't cook it till you order it, and it is fresh right in the oh. It, I eat meat here, you know, sometimes. Yeah. See a big write-up paper about us opening up? Y'all didn't see that? Oh, hell, they had a write-up in there at least that big. <laughs> well, not that big. <laughs> Pretty big. <laughs> yeah, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm just, you know something else, girl. I gotta tell you something. Yeah. Uh, you see all these good-looking gals up here? Little kids, big kids, and everything. And, and some of them's pretty uh, busting, like you know. Uh, reminds me of the story. What one sagging press said to the other one: If we don't get some support pretty soon, they're gonna think we're nuts. Man, where's that girl with, my, with all them Yankee dollars? She left yet? <laughs> Sean, 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 you gonna dance with us? She's counting. Okay, we will go right here. This is the buzzard song we use for the contest, all right? Now you're going down the highway, girls, if you don't know the song, and we're driving down the highway. We're gonna see some buzzards, and they're gonna be giving something to eat. Going down the highway, feeling fine. I do about 75 and run on time. Look up ahead. He say, "Here, yeah, baby." <laughs> we got to get a Democrat back in the White House. <laughs> it ain't never going to work. We know. <laughs> Two hundred twenty-seven dollars, Lou. All right. Thank you, everybody. Lou, come get this, please. Hey, sat down, Lou. Everybody, don't take a cut now. <laughs> Saw something in the highway. Looked dead. Now, this is our part, girl. A bunch of buzzards standing around. Looking at a little something dead on the ground. Make this, okay? They all step back. Is that the way you think it? It's your house. <laughs> Start it again. Get back up here. We're too much closer to the band here. They all step back. Hey, fake, 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 fake. I see some of you going to have to spend the night with me so you don't know how to fake it. I'll teach you how to fake it, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> I think you know what, Stan. I don't think they. I don't think they heard you because when we explained it to them, they said, "Oh, fake it, no problem." <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I don't think they need no training either. <laughs> they all. <laughs> they all step back. There you go. Pretty good. <laughs> With a lot of hope. Start doing the bungalow. You can do the bungalow. You can do the bungalow. I back your wings up and down. I take them back, go round and round. Looks like they're all dope. I'm okay. 
They are doing the buzz They are doing the buzz If you want to get one to laugh with them, Adam. And uh, this is one of them, but a guy from New Jersey helped me write this song because he's a tourist, and it's about the tourists, you know. And because, you know, we are all a tourist one time or another, and, and usually when a tourist sees a guy with a fish, what's the first thing you think of? What kind of fish is that? And they've asked us that many <laughs> questions so many times. By the way, we've been here 36 years. You believe that? Yeah. I was in the First World War, I think. I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe with the second one. How many we had? About five? <laughs> they just don't call them World War. No, they They're still wars, though, ain't they? Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, with yeah. the current ministry. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, see, let, let's just go with this song right quick. See if we can cut it out here. Are y'all having fun or are we just acting a fool here? What's going on? Are you glad to be an American? Are you glad? <laughs> you got that right, guys. We've got freedom here in America. I like going fishing, see? 
cause no one bothers me when I'm off Goodland pulling in some fish. Soon as I get back in, start cutting off heads and fins. Some tourist starts giving me some funny look. Well, I'm out here slipping guts. He's under the cheeky hut. Drinking gin and tonic laced with a hunk of lime. All soon he gets curious. Starts looking serious. And asks the same old question every time. What kind of fish is that? And please don't ask me that. I'm a hot tire. Just not in the mood. That's a woman man, ain't it? back down, thank God, and I'm throwing them fish heads around. And the birds are flying in and eating them. I look toward Cheeky Hut. Guess what? Here comes this pale face tonight. Make it New Jersey. I head back my way to bother me again. He keeps on hanging around. I'm trying to ignore this man. I hear you. Cause I figure he's gonna ask me the same damn question. What do you say, guys? What kind of bird is that? And where'd you see him at? <laughs> that makes a while I have to say this damn story. <laughs> so I said, you set him on the ground. And you let him run around and see which one roosts on the lower level. Go on, George. Always <laughs> don't ask me that I'm a hot guy Just not in the mood Is that a woman's line? Yeah What kind of fish is that? And where'd you catch a man? Don't bother me Or if I might get rude One more time What kind of fish is that? And where'd you catch a man? Dead as a man. <laughs> Dead as a man. Sorry, Stan. I haven't done that in a while. I Hell, I, I, I lost the whole last verse. <laughs> that hurt. No, no. Well, thank you, folks. We're going back to some great music here now with the hot damn band. And I'll tell you, uh, y'all get ready for the human race. It's coming at you again. Yeah. And we're going to make the last run on the tickets. Oh, it's getting almost 4 o'clock. Go have the final drawing for the money. you got to be present to win this time. Okay? Thanks a lot. I hope I didn't embarrass anybody. Hey, 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 hey. Go for the restroom. Go back to the house stage, okay? How come we do that to old man with a bad heart? Why, why, why? I'm nervous I'd be anyway. All these good-looking women around here, I mean, not just myself. I think I can take care of all of them. No, I can't. I just want to try, that's so. <laughs> all. Okay, but listen, if I didn't get you this time, maybe next week. Thank you. God, have a good time. And we're going to do a song, Stan. I think a few people in the audience might relate to this one. Really? Yeah. Okay. We're not going to pick on anybody in particular, though. The boots? No. Nope. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my, yeah, okay. <laughs> I stepped out of the shower to get a good look at myself. Hot belly, bald headed, man, I thought I was somebody else. 
Well, I caught my reflection in the mirror on the back of the bathroom door. I just don't look good naked anymore. So I'm going upstairs to turn my bedroom mirror to the wall. Well, I hung it back when I was trim and tall. I used to stand there and smile and flex and strut until my arms got sore. But I just don't look good naked anymore. They're afraid I might fall So I went to the doctors For my annual medical exam Well I was standing there In the buff When he yelled Man I said What is it doc? Some fatal disease Hell I need to know the score He said no nah, you just don't look good naked anymore. Well, now me and Mona had a dancing style. The folks say it was unique. Now it's only when we're back to back, we're dancing cheek to cheek. To get some seaside fun But stretched out in my birthday suit Soaking up the sun When somebody yelled There's a great white whale Washed up on the shore oh, I just don't look good naked Thank you guys.